guys welcome back to my channel so today I am going to be doing comparison video of two of the pre poos that I own one which I got for free and that's the diva curl wash day wonder that I got for free from a gift bag and then the African pride moisture miracle pre shampoo now I'm gonna start with the diva curl first on the left side of my hair Got it. Sorry. This is what my hair is looking like. It has body, but it's pretty dry, and you know I need to give my hair some TLC before I actually shampooed it. Gives me that spray bottle. Now, the first time I use this in the direction, it doesn't say to use a spray bottle, but I was like, I should do the same thing that I do on the other side. So that's why I went ahead and used a spray bottle this time. So you can see it's really blue. And I already did a review on both of these pre-shampoos by the time you see this but I wanted to do like a comparison to see like which one is really worth it for the price so we're gonna see oh almost dropped it so just to let you know the diva curl one is $28 so it's on the expensive side and so yeah like that's why I have never purchased any diva curl products if I didn't get this for free I promise you I probably would never use any deep curl product ever just i'm just being honest because i feel like it's way too expensive for one product So I will say with the Diva Curl, it does take out the tangle. That it does. But I don't know, for some reason, and you'll see this, but I feel like the curls, um, my curls look a little, I don't know what the word is, not kind of like limp. That makes sense. I don't know. Like when I use it, um, it's not, I don't know, but. But it does do the job of detangling, I'll say that much. And I feel like I have to add a lot for it to actually like really do the job. Like if you notice I didn't add just one drop, I went like I took a like a good maybe three or four times and used my and used it. You gotta pay attention to the ends. The ends is the oldest part of your hair, so I always try to make sure to rub my ends. And the reason why I did this video is because I wanted to really test and see how, like, I generally liked both of the products. And it's always good, I feel like, to do like a Second to third impression because I've actually this is the second time I'm filming using Diva Curl, but I've actually been using since I did the first video on Diva Curl, I've been using it for now like I think four wash days. So I've been using it for a while. But you see what I'm talking about? Like I don't know. There's like not as much body in my hair. Like I don't know if that really like makes a difference because once again it's gonna get washed out. It's just for me to detangle my hair and it does do that. So like but I don't know. So, now on this side, I am going to use the African Pride Moisture Miracle. Now with this one, it does actually say to um, dampen it. And I forgot to mention, so with Diva Curl, honest, there's no like time limit. You can just put it in your hair and I guess wash when you want to. 
with the African pride, it's kind of up to you. But like I said, since my hair is true and dry, um, they recommend to leave it for 15 to 30 minutes, I believe. What did I? Oh, no, I left it for 15 minutes. And this is the second time I was using the African pride one. Now, I'm going to be honest. African pride is the cheaper one. It only cost me... I went to my Loki, my Loki, my local beauty supply, and I got it for six forty nine. So that's not bad for this size jar. I feel like, and I kind of want to try their whole collection after trying this one. It's affordable. It has aloe and coconut water, and I've never tried any products with aloe, at least not to my knowledge. It's probably the first one, but I will say in terms of like moisturization. This one really, really, really moisturizes way better than the Diva Curl. Like, I feel a difference on both sides. They both detangle, but this, it's called the Moisture Miracle because it really does moisturize. I feel like it's like awesome for my specific, for my texture here. As you can see the difference, you see the back of my hair, how dry it looks. And once I put the product, my hair is like so nice and curled and moisturized. Let me know in the comments if you guys pre-poop. Now, I will say this, because I know I'm going to get asked this question in the comments. Which one would I repurchase? Or purchase in the case of this Diva Curl, um, I didn't actually purchase it, and I would have to choose the African Pride one for sure. I would repurchase it one because it's affordable and it does the same job, and I feel like it does an even better job than the Diva Curl. And I didn't generally realize it until I really put it to the test this time around and really like had them separate used one on one side and did a comparison that I realized like okay this one is much better leaves my hair super moisturized and it costs way less to do the same thing so um but will I stop using Diva Curl I'm gonna finish it because you know I have the product I'm not gonna stop using it but when it's time to like restock and when I finish both I'm definitely going for the African flag for sure that's my thoughts on it. Let me know if you tried either or, which one did you like, or if you're going to try any of them, but yeah. And the shrinkage is real, like as always. I feel like you will never know the true length of your hair because it shrinks so much. Welcome to Healthy Hair Chronicles. So I am done the section, so I'm gonna leave both sides in. Like I said, I'm gonna leave it for 15 minutes. Diva Girl doesn't have a specific instruction, but I need that moisture, so 15 minutes it is. So now I'm just gonna take down the front section so I gotta show you guys the difference. So on this side, that's Diva Curl side. And this is what my hair is looking like. Now, it looks moisturized, but there's definitely a difference. And I'm going to show you now. So you see how the curls on the African Pride side, it has so much more body. And it feels like it generally soaked up the moisture. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I want to show you guys which, which one. And then the Diva Curl, it has some body, but I feel like the curls are not that defined. If you guys get what I'm saying, you guys gotta look closely, but there's definitely a difference, I feel like, in terms of how the product soaked up my hair. I just feel like the African Pride one is definitely better for moisturization because my curls are all nicely clumped together. The pre pull from the Diva Curl, it's clumped, but not as much. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.